From Phil Svitek comes a weekly digital series where he shares his insights, concepts, and findings learned during his 15-year journey of working in the entertainment industry. Each lesson offers you a roadmap to overcome the challenges that all artists face on the path to success. Welcome to a Phil Svitek podcast. Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, I want to talk about the notion of always wanting to be the first. And the reason I want to touch upon this is because we put such an emphasis on being faster at something when in reality, it doesn't always make sense. So let me give you two examples, one where it works, where it, one where it doesn't, right? If we're in a race, let's say the 100 meter dash, then of course, being first matters because that is the objective of the competition, right? You're proving that you are the first, you are the fastest runner within 100 meters, right, of that day. But where it doesn't matter is, okay, we, and it almost starts like a childhood. There's such an emphasis of like, oh, my kid learned to read, like, I'm just going to make up a completely ridiculous number. My kid learned to read at the age of two weeks old. And it's like, okay. Being first in that only matters if it matters. That that sounds so like, no, duh. But it's like, okay, it it doesn't matter. If you learn to read at two weeks old, two years old, or five years old, or even seven years old. If you learn to read, then you've learned to read. And so who cares ultimately when you've learned to read? Because it doesn't necessarily prohibit you from doing anything. As long as you know how to read, then you're good, right? And certainly there are plenty of examples of very successful people who have had slower starts in life, but then they make up for it. So, and I think that's where this idea of comparison, we always, we, we, we just so desperately, I feel like, at least from what I'm saying, just love to compare. And I use the word love ironically because it ultimately becomes a shame based against ourselves and putting us down and so forth. When in reality, why? You know, the the life is not not a race. Life is not a hundred meter dash. Okay. And so if you're, you know, whether you're an individual or you're, you know, a company and so forth, the idea that you're first at something means jack shit unless it actually means something. Think about it this way. Plenty of, um, plenty of podcast companies out there. Do we know who was the first one? No. Why? Because it doesn't matter. The first sort of company with, with video cameras. Do we know who they are? Does it matter? There's plenty of other ones. Black Magic, Red, DJI, Sony, Canon, and I'm sure others that I'm missing. So being first doesn't matter unless it matters. And I think too too often we put such an emphasis on being first. And this is finite thinking. It really is, as Simon Sinek would call it. Because the objective for most of us, right, as individuals or as companies, is to remain in the so-called game. By thinking about it in terms of first or best, it's false. It doesn't exist. Because ironically, a lot of times, the companies that come out of the gate first aren't around. MySpace. Who really remembers MySpace? I remember MySpace. MySpace was fun. (laughs) I made a cool MySpace. It was like the first time you like got to, you know, without coding, you were able to create a website for yourself, essentially. I'm not talking about MySpace anymore. Vine. Vine, yeah, sure, okay, maybe it exists. Do people still use, you know, it's not not part of our overall you know, cultural, you know, there's now TikTok and, and, you know, Instagram now has most of the stuff that, uh, that's, that, that Vine used to do and so forth. So 
you know, I could go on and on in terms of the examples, but it really comes down to the idea that being first, you really shouldn't overemphasize being first at something if there's no actual value to it, okay? So really consider that because I think too, far too often we overemphasize this need to be first and do something first uh, when it does not matter in the grand scheme. So I know it's a little bit kind of an abstracted concept, but think, ask yourself, by me being first at this, does it, does it ultimately, does it get me more money? Does it, you know, and, and listen, and I think part of it is, I'm sorry, I'm taking a quick step back. I think part of it is oftentimes the people that do come out with something first, uh, I don't know, maybe it's their le- resting on their laurels type, type, so to speak, or, you know, whatever else. But, you know, part of it could be like once an idea is out there, then then everyone else, like it becomes part of the collective consciousness and, you know, the thing that people were trying to solve for now all of a sudden becomes that much easier to solve for. So, uh, you know, the fact that it's out there, people can add on to it. It's almost like, you know, no one can run a four minute mile uh, until the first guy to run a four minute mile. Now all of a sudden there's all, all these other people that can run a four minute mile um, because it's, you know, now it became possible. It, someone proved that it was possible to do that. So maybe it's in that sense, but you know, as far as the long-term effect of it, uh, you know, the uh, most things in life, the objective is to remain in the game. You know, continue doing what you want to be doing, uh, continue making money uh, and from the things that, that you are good at and things of that nature. So, you know, coming out of the gate for one particular thing, that's a short, short-lived portion of your life. You got to continue that beyond that. And so, you know, never put an emphasis on being first to, to really do something unless it matters. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm curious from, by all means in the comment section, co- comment with two things. One, where you think being first does matter. And the second, where you think being first does not matter. But I really want to make sure you kind of understand this concept and start thinking about it from the perspective of your life. And I'm curious to see your answers. So please do that. As always, if you have questions, by all means, ask away. You know, we can discuss them and so forth. Anyway, I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time to tune in. If there's someone in your life who would benefit from this lesson, by all means, share it with them. And to that effect, if you're listening to this and haven't yet subscribed, well, please, uh, I encourage you to do so. That way you get all the various lessons that I put out right when I put them out. Thank you. And I hope to see you next time.